I'm Troy Bailey and welcome to the Comic Book Movie Collector's Guide. Your insight into collecting all things superhero cinema from movies to TV shows and cartoons on all formats of physical media from 4K to Blu-ray to DVD. And today I have for you my November movie haul of 2020. Let's get a collection update, eh? Okay, first cab off the rink today, we have uh, Constantine City of Demons. Now I managed to pick this one up for $8.71 on Amazon. That was a pretty good buy. I've been watching this for a little while. Came down from about 15 bucks. had a bit of a special on. So I couldn't pass that up for $8.71. Um, not much on Constantine. I haven't had much to do with him. Uh, I did like Justice League... Uh, Dark, I think. Yep, yeah, I like that one. So I am curious to see if uh, they keep that up in this movie. So that one is Constantine City of Demons on DVD. There's always a price to pay. Okay, the next one I have for you is The Return of Captain Invincible. I picked this up on eBay for 40 bucks. Now this is a... Uh, Classic old school 80s exploit, Aussie exploitation film. Uh, it has Alan Arkin and Christopher Lee in it. Uh, I do remember watching this when I was a kid and uh, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. It's because it's a bit of a musical comedy satire where uh, I thought it was actually going to be a proper superhero film, but it wasn't. Um, though this has been a hard one to get. i only seen a few copies out there at the moment, especially on DVD and anywhere from 50 60 70 bucks uh this has been a hard one to get a hold of but yeah i managed to pick it up for 40 bucks on eBay. but i think i did pretty well there and that was uh the return of captain invincible on dvd the return of captain invincible everything's going to be just great again uh, okay, so next ones I've got are two Turtles from the 03 series. I got uh, Way of Invisibility uh, for a 548. That's a pretty common one. Not a bad buy for that. And I also got uh, Return to New York. Now this one, a little harder to get in this one at the moment. Uh, you're looking for anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks for this bad boy. I managed to pick it up for $12.50, which was a pretty good buy. Uh, and as I said, the ever-growing Turtles collection. Some more to go to it. So that was uh, a couple of the O3 series on DVD. Okay, the next one I have for you is Avengers United They Stand Season 1 from 1999. This is a, uh, one of those hard ones to get. Uh, the only way you can get it is on these UK releases. Uh, I don't think they've actually released it in America. To this set. Uh, this bad boy I've seen for at least 50 to 70 to 80 bucks. Some absolute ridiculous prices. Uh, but then in saying that, it's not an easy one to find either. So uh, when I picked it up for a mere $18.95, I thought that was just an absolute bargain. So uh, very chuffed with this purchase. Uh, of the Avengers, you know, they stay in season one on DVD. Avengers. Hey, I have a three lot of Brave and the Batman Brave and the Bold season one. So this is uh, volume two, volume four, and volume five. I already have one and three. Uh, so I picked up, I'll leave this one to later. Uh, I picked this one up for a 7.93, uh, which isn't too bad price for Volume Four. Volume Five, a little harder to find. Managed to pick that one up for 11.87. And funny story with this one, uh, I picked up this for I think it was eight dollars. Um, only to find out it says Volume Two on the front, but yep, that's a Volume Five disc on the inside. Luckily enough, uh, the lady I bought it off, she gave me a refund on that. So I'm still searching for volume two if you've got one. I'm definitely interested just to complete my series. 
Uh, so that was a nice bulk lot of Batman Brave and the Bold, Season 1, Volumes 2, 4 and 5. Okay, now this one is All Superheroes Must Die, or I think it originally was called Versus. Um, this one's a bit of an independent movie from what I know of. Now, I managed to pick this one up on eBay for $8. Absolute bargain. Uh, I've seen it anywhere from, I think the cheapest was 15 up to 20 25 30 bucks. So to get it for $8, I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, this one's a bit of a superhero horror themed type sort of movie from what I understand. Uh, don't know much about it, but uh, we'll definitely give it a look. So that's All Superheroes Must Die. May the best man win. Okay, now what do you know? Another Turtles one. I've been on a bit of a Turtles run lately. So this is the movie Turtles Forever. This is a crossover one where they cross over with their old 80s versions of themselves. Actually, I would really love to see this one. Uh, sit down and watch this one with the two um, 2003 versions meet the 1980s versions. Uh, and I managed to pick this up for an absolute bargain. $8.08 .08 off eBay. Uh, yeah, not a great saving, usually sitting around the $10 mark at the moment, $10, $15. So, 8 bucks, not a bad buy at all, pretty stoked with that. So that's the Turtles Forever, the movie. Let us finish this once and for all. Okay, what we got next? Oh, this is a great series. I've only seen most of the, I've only seen part of the first series so far, so I'm keen to watch the rest of it, and that is... Preacher. I managed to pick up season one and two together for a grand total of $15.95 as a uh, twofer. I thought that was fantastic. Um, I've seen individual like seasons from 20 bucks each, 15, 20 bucks each. So to get the first two seasons in top nick, they are just about brand new, for $15.95, I thought that was an absolute bargain. Uh, can't wait to sit down and watch the rest of this show because uh, it was pretty good and pretty faithful to the comic book from what I from uh, what I've read. So can't wait to give that a watch. Preacher season one and two on DVD. Jesus, what kind of a preacher are you? <laughs> Okay, uh, next bulk lot I got, and I got a few bulk lots this month. Uh, I got the Superhero Squad. This is volume, sorry, volume one, volume two, and volume four. Now, I already have volume one, two, and three of season one, so I already got these. But this one is what I was really after, and I end up spending $24.90 for the three. A little more than I wanted to pay, but I know I can flog these off. Uh, and, and get some money back, but mainly after this one because this one is super rare in here in Australia anyway, the Australian release of it. Um, yeah, to finally finish out the first season. So I was super stoked to finally find this one and was happy to pay just that little extra just to get this one. So that is the Superhero Squad on DVD. And the rest of the squad as they team up to save Superhero City from the clutches of Doctor Doom. I hate those hoodies. So for my last lot, this is the big bulk buy. This is what I got here. I got all of these, which is the whole first series, uh, first series, the whole five seasons of Gotham, Swamp Thing, and the first season of Titans for $38.95. Now, when you do some math on that, that is a pretty good buy. Only problem was, I already have season one and two on Blu-ray. And I managed to pick up season four on DVD, really cheap off Amazon months and months ago. So I didn't need those, but I did need to get five and three to finish off the series. And I need Swamp Thing and Titan. So when you add that up, they're only about eight bucks each. So bargain there, few extras to sell, make my money back. I'm looking at maybe, oh, I don't know, six or $7 a season. That is an absolute bargain. Um, wasn't overly fussed on Gotham, though I only really watched the first two seasons. Uh, this, super interested in, can't wait to watch something. It looks fantastic. 
and of course love the titans big fan of the titans uh and i can't wait to uh review this one too so that is all of these bad boys for 38.95 pretty good deal Okay, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And of course, let me know in the comments down below whether you've picked up any of those or own any of those and whether you got them for a good price. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, and of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And uh, of course, you don't want to forget to hit that little notification button because you don't want to miss any future episodes. So if you want to contact me, you can always email me at thecomicbookmoviecollector at gmail.com and you can also follow me on the socials at The Comic Book Movie Collector on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. All the links will be down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.